What's up guys? So we are here at Sinclair Community College talking to Mr. Tom Friels about the Skills USA competition that we're here to be able to see today. It's a competition between all the local technicians around here, uh, guys who are in high school level actually coming into the industry. So what is the Skills USA competition really? Well for for automotive anyway, the uh, Skills USA is basically a competition based on uh, different tasks or different areas of the ASE uh, spectrum, so like areas one through eight as far as engine repair or transmission or electrical. So basically every station is set up with like a 10 minute uh, time block and you either answer some questions or maybe do an actual you know, physical task. Uh, that's all scored and uh, I believe today we had 13? 15. 15. 15 participants. The top three of those participants at this regional competition that we've hosted for longer than I've been here will then be, um, they'll go on to the state competition, which is in Columbus in April. Uh, that brings in the regional centers from at least in Ohio. From that, then they take the winner from each state meets at the national competition that should leave in Louisville later on this summer which is really great to be able to see these guys coming up through the ranks, especially at the age that they are, 17, 18 years old coming into the competition. Yep. And we'll see here in a second, I'll go and show you guys some of the stuff that they're gonna be doing out in the shop in the way of diagnostics for electrical, uh, tire suspension, showing how to use the wiring diagrams. Uh, their spectrum of knowledge that they have to know for this competition is pretty vast and pretty wide. Something that even by myself, I didn't know when I was 16, 17, 18 years old. So these guys, they've had some pretty good you know, leadership showing them at this point where they're going. Yeah, most of these participants come from a lot of our local career centers, um, which uh, we work a lot in pretty close proximity to as far as supporting them on their advisory committees. They support us a lot. They basically send students here for visits. Um, they're, they're our biggest recruiting base, obviously, to continue on with our programs. Um, so uh, it, it basically shows how good of career centers and automotive programs there are in our area. And uh, it's a great opportunity for those students because they not only show off their skills, but they're able to basically collect some pretty good swag as far as uh, they were you know, They were getting some really good stuff for the prizes. And stuff and scholarship. Actually, the winner got a $1,000 scholarship thanks to uh, Mr. Haldeman, one of our um, retired professors who's also still a textbook author. Uh, he gave $1,000. SP Tools gave $250 gift certificates to the top three. Uh, Voss gave some uh, stuff, which I don't, there's so much stuff I, I don't want to forget people. <laughs> but anyway, uh, they had a well in well excess supported. of two grand worth of stuff per student on these top three. So not only are so. they doing great in you know getting into these programs, but now they're getting rewarded for the information and the knowledge that they're able to show in these areas. Yep. So I thought it was really cool. Uh, let's go out and check out what's going on out in the room here. So here we are back in the shop at Sinclair Community College where the Skills USA competition is going to take place. We've got all kinds of different uh, setups down the line here with different stations that will be challenging these students from everything from suspension diagnosis, electrical, wiring diagrams, AC and heat, a whole gamut of things that is going to put them to the test. So it's really cool to see what they're going to be doing in this one. So here throughout the competition they're going to be challenged and Hopefully we're going to see who comes out on top on this one. They're going to do an awesome job, I think. But it's really cool to see these younger students be able to put their knowledge to the test. So we're going to get them tested here today. Really neat setup for their wiring and electrical diagnostic testing. Then here at Sinclair, they've got all kinds of other projects going on. What's really cool is to see this one. This is actually a 2016 or 17 Hellcat that was pretty much put to the crusher and uh, used for some training stuff. And they got their hands on it and they're going to be doing a custom fit race car. So they've got tube frame going in. They've got a couple of chassis upgrades. 
they are getting ready to mock up their nine inch rear in here. And uh, the power plant is actually gonna be a modified 6.1 from an earlier generation LX body. So gonna be really neat to see where they come at on projects like this one. Wish that we had sweet projects like this to be able to do on the channel too. Who knows, we might get our hands in on this one. Definitely see how they uh, progress on this one as well. So all the students are done, everything is finished out in the work area, and they did a great job. They were uh, gauged in each one of these areas, 10 skill areas per student. Each one of the points that they had, 10 points per question, 10 questions asked in each area. So they were actually really fantastic. These questions were pretty hard, like even some of them that I may not have known, especially at that age group, I was judging personally the, uh, the tire section, you had to know everything from the weeks of in which the tire was made, doing tread depth, the aspect ratio of it, where you find the pressures on the vehicle, it was pretty comprehensive. And then each one of those stations from wiring all the way down through uh, doing gauges and specs on some of the internal engine components was pretty awesome. These guys did a good job and now uh, the top three were actually announced and the top student actually got like an overall percentage score of like 94%. He did an awesome job at what he did. And so we got a couple of pictures here of the guys who actually won the competition right here. They did a really great job. So big kudos to them, awesome job. I really like supporting a lot of the younger techs coming into the industry, especially these ones who are putting so much effort into their future. Now, speaking of talking future, the other part of this video that I wanted to bring up was the tools portion of it. Being in a school or any kind of classroom setting, a lot of the tool manufacturers do offer certain student grants or discount rates for the tools that they're purchasing. So getting into a couple of those student programs that I really wanted to be able to cover for you guys today, we're gonna to be talking about three of the main ones that I've been able to find here in the industry. We're gonna be talking about Snap-on Student Services, uh, their SEP program, uh, Max Student Tool program, and then we're also gonna be talking about the SP Tools Next Tech program, going through the differences and the possibilities for the students in each of these three different companies. So let's go over to the computer, get you guys some images and some information to be able to show you what these student tool programs are all about. So for these companies, the student tech programs that they have for the students to be able to get a discount on these tools are pretty ingenious. It gets them in the door, that gets them some discounted tools, and it kind of gets them hooked on that company. Because whether you like it or not, us as humans, we are we have a tendency to want to match everything. So if we start off our careers getting Snap-on tools or Matco tools or SP tools, more than likely you guys will want to continue doing that. So let's have a look at a couple of these tool programs and the differences of them. First up on the screen, we have the Snap-on Student Excellence Program. So the SEP program, most guys get it and they get the spiel offered it to them at school when they go through these things. Uh, so when you go into school, you are offered this and you actually have to fill out a purchase application and you, your credit app, everything just as normal as if you were by tools. Uh, some of the points that I wanted to be able to point out for you. So you all full-time students, so you can't just be a part-time student. It is a full-time student right here enrolled in the approved school program. So they have to fill out an application for this and then once they fill out their application, it will get you the pricing and everything for this. Now pricing across most of these different manufacturers are pretty much universal. You guys are getting between 40 and 60% off depending on the certain amount of tools or whatever that you guys are gonna purchase. Now here's where some of the things differ. Snap on how much am I allowed to purchase right here you are allowed to purchase up to $11,000 worth of tools at list value price. There's the kicker right there. So even with you guys getting a discount of 50, 60% off, 40% off, whatever it is, it counts up as the list price value of those tools. So really, you are only getting about $5,000, $6,000 most in what you are paying out of these tools. Also, uh, one of the things that they 
don't say here but in a couple other little places is that like the uh, toolboxes you can only get up to like a 54 inch toolbox you cannot get anything larger and their tool offering is also very limited so here on their tool on their uh, SEP program site it shows you everything that you're able to get the hand tools you click on each one of these um, all the power tools that you guys have the option of being able to see power tools accessories air power tools cordless 18 volt you can see some of these there's not a huge list on what you're able to get not even close to compared to what the full product catalog is that if you were want to get you know specialty things now there are some circumstances in which you guys could talk to your student dealer and say hey i know that say like this coolant refill tool is not on the list can you guys push that or get me a discount on that and they say yes we can get you some kind of discount it's not going to be on the sep pricing but it's going to be at a definite discount Diagnostics, they can get up through, I believe, an ethos handheld diagnostic. Yep, the ethos is what they're able to get. Pocket IQ, uh, they can get the motorcycle scan tool one. Shows list prices here, but you aren't able to see the actual SCP pricing unless you're actually in the program, but it does have the full site there. So that is Snap on site the big points to be able to push through yes they do have great pricing but it is a limited list of what you're able to select from and purchase and you are up to eleven thousand dollars max at list price value on the tools that you're getting so let's hop on over to mac mac tools discount student discount program so pretty much thing on uh, their site you have to fill out the application it's uh, they've got the online catalog for you guys to be able to see everything right here I actually think their application and order form is a lot easier to figure out through Mac surprisingly and everything but yeah uh, the price adjustments everything for the student as long as the student is full-time again uh, they're able to purchase these things um, normally and they're able to purchase them up through 30 days after the student exits the program warranty service warranty is all the same through the distributor or calling in there's this also a limited supply or a limited amount of tools that you can purchase on the program it is not offered at their full catalog amount now so you have these specific boxes specific tool sets uh, you cannot buy the maximizer you are not allowed to get into that snap on you aren't even a label I think you're able to get the uh, masters up to a 54 inch but nothing bigger than that um, here's the other thing that you really wanted to see how many orders can I place you may order anytime enrolled in the vocational program each order must be a minimum of $200 but you cannot exceed $9,500 in total student program purchases. So that is total. That is not off of list value like Snap-on says. So $9,500 in total value. And again, these prices from what they say and what everyone else has said, again, pretty much hover around the same thing. Most generic tools are available at approximately 50% off of retail prices. So right there, it goes tell you that their prices are about the same as what the other programs offer as well. Now we're going to hop over to the SP Tools Next Tech Student Program. Uh, again, the same thing that you are offering. Students will receive up to 50% or so off of retail price in the kits and individual items. Now here is where SP Tools is able to differ from these other manufacturers. Is there a limit on how much I can order? No, there is no maximum limit to any order. There doesn't show to be any minimum limit either. So you're not limited to just that initial amount of, um, like snap-ons was 11,000 of the uh, initial value or max at $9,500. So if you wanted to order a full set of tools of what you think you're gonna buy for the next you know 10 years of your service career, you can get them at the student discount. You know maximum limit to the order right there on their site written in there 
Um, let's see what else they have here. This discount will last 90 days after graduation. So right there, three months after you guys graduate, you guys are still offered that same exact discount. Uh, submit the student application form here online. Simple, all you have to do is scroll down here, be able to fill in all your information here online and submit the form all online. All pretty darn easy, I'd have to say so. Any SP Tools USA product that is on the sptoolsusa.com is eligible. There's the big kicker for you. Right there. They do not have a dumbed down tool list for the students just because all oh, these are students, they should only be buying their main tools. No, if they want to buy a specialty tool, if they're working in a specialty diesel shop, they can buy the specialty tools that they need to. No toolbox, no tool, nothing on the SP Tools website is exempt from the Student Next Tech program. So you can get those big discounts on these tools it doesn't matter which tool you want as long as it's on their site you can order it and you can get your student discount how is how awesome is that i mean you you can't match it we've looked at the other tool programs you can't match that one and on top of that their warranty we've seen that before in the last video that i did their warranty was able to match up or even do better than you know so replacing some of these tools with a truck that actually came to my shop so how about that big thumbs up to sp tools for offering a really awesome student discount program the sp tools next deck student program well guys, there you have it. A nice, easy presentation for you guys to see what these student tool programs are all about, what the differences between some of those big companies really are. I know there's gonna be a couple of other companies out there that might have some student programs available to them, but these are the big ones that I wanted to focus on and be able to show you the differences between all three of them. So if you guys are going into school, make sure you keep that in mind to do your homework on the program that you're gonna be looking into purchasing. Because like I said, each one of these, you will still have to run a credit application and you don't really want to ding your credit three times to be able to get these tools from three different companies. You might want to just focus in on one or two, you know, probably not all three of these tool companies to be able to see which ones you want to purchase them from. Hopefully this gave you guys enough information to be able to see the differences in what the tool programs were all about. Well guys, that's about all I've got for you guys today. Hopefully you guys got some really good information out of it from the Skills USA competition all the way to some information from these tool manufacturers on their student programs for tools for the up and coming students. Thanks for tuning in today guys. We've got tons more stuff coming your way in the way of the side by side build, the Duramax stuff, tool content as always. Like, comment, subscribe, appreciate it. And as always, you guys stay awesome.